Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at Cisco WebEx and sharing of content. We're going to look at both static content as well as motion picture and audio content and the settings in WebEx that allow you to get the best experience for both of these. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Otherwise, we're going to dive in and check it out firsthand. First, let's talk about sharing your entire screen. You open the WebEx application and you navigate down to the bottom bar, click the box with the up arrow, you'll be prompted to share your screen. Go ahead and just share your entire screen. Now on the far end, the experience will look something like this. You'll see the participants entire desktop as well as the application they're sharing. You gotta be careful when you're sharing like this, you may share content you didn't necessarily intend to share. Because of the privacy concerns with sharing your entire desktop and possibly getting a pop-up or an email or instant message that comes in, I wanna show you how to share just the application. In this case, we're sharing Excel. Let's check that out now. You open the WebEx window, you do that same process, but instead of choosing screen, you wanna find the application. Again, Microsoft Excel, and we're now sharing Excel. If you see it on the far side, the rest of the display is grayed out, but you still get a really good look at the Excel data that we're sharing into the call. Now, static content is one thing, but motion picture content such as video or something of that sort, the experience isn't ideal in a call. Let me play a little bit of a video for you that was shared over a WebEx without any optimizations, and I'll see what you think. Okay, WebEx. Book this room for 30 minutes. Got it. You probably noticed the video was a little bit choppy. You also noticed the audio was choppy and a little muffled, and the uh, just that audio video experience wasn't there. Next, I want to show you how to optimize this when you go to share an application that has video in it. In this case, we're going to share the Firefox web browser that has this YouTube video opened, and then we'll watch the rest of the video. Again, we'll click the share icon, but in this case, we'll go to the top and we'll select the drop down, and it says optimize for motion and video. Now, there's a checkbox to toggle audio uh, and a couple notes there about it. In this case, we definitely want that toggled as well. And then uh, finally, we select the application, in this case, Firefox. As you could probably both see and hear, the audio and video came through much better when we toggle that option. You might be wondering, why don't I just use the optimize for video and audio setting all the time? Um, you certainly could, I suppose. I'll put the same two shared content images on the screen together. You can see the one on the left is an Excel spreadsheet. The one on the right is that same Excel spreadsheet, but it is the static content setting. So static content settings are much clearer and much easier to see, particularly for that fine grain detail that might be in something, again, like a spreadsheet. Anyhow, if you have other questions, comments, or even tips or tricks, please leave them in the video discussion section below. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I uh, hope to see you back sometime soon.